The European Commission's Joint Research Center is working on introducing the principles of the three R's replacement, reduction and refinement of annual use for scientific purposes in primary and secondary education. Teachers across Europe and beyond, coordinated by the European Schoolnet, have tested the newly developed 3Rs learning scenarios and additional resources. In this video, teachers will share their impressions and recommendations from the experience. We implemented the 3Rs learning scenario within the subjects of ICT and environmental studies in line with the Greek National Curriculum for Primary Schools. It was the first time I introduced the 3Rs topics to students for a bit surprised and uncomfortable at the beginning because I had never thought about the different ways animals are used and misused in our societies. But through the activities, discussions and feedback, they realize their responsibility towards animals and the choices they can make to improve animal welfare. The first time I introduced the three hours lessons in my classroom was in October 2021 when I implemented my own learning scenario after completing the MOOC the 3 hours and Animal Use in Science Rerun. This time, I implemented an assigned learning scenario and used an interdisciplinary approach in teaching by connecting it to the topics of scientific research and experiments in science. The topic of the 3 hours was very interesting for my students. They were surprised to learn about animal use in science and the 3 hours principles. Moreover, they really enjoyed the collaborative tasks and presentations, as well as the opportunity to use diverse tools. Gamification and problem-based approaches, as well as collaborative activities, are very suitable for teaching 3Rs in primary schools. I would also suggest making use of diverse digital tools and different resources to introduce the topic. It is also very important to encourage your students to brainstorm and express their opinions. Role-playing activities can be of great help with this. My students found the 3Rs topic very interesting and I will definitely teach it again. For those teachers who would like to try teaching the 3Rs lessons, I would recommend completing the 3Rs MOOC, which is available on the European School and Academy platform. There you can learn all the basics about the topic and find very useful resources and examples you can use. I often bring into my classroom STEM activities on topics such as animal protection and sustainability, but I have never had the chance to implement any activity related to the three R's. Learning about the three R's was a new experience for my students and they loved it. They liked the topic because it suited their interest and they enjoyed learning more about science. I was surprised to see that even young students can address a topic like three R's in a serious and responsible manner. Yes, they had fun working together and performing Kahoot games, mental brainstorming and online scientific research, but they always kept in mind the importance of the three R's and the purpose of the activity, animal welfare. Dear colleagues, if we want our students to go beyond the classroom and act like real scientists, we should definitely involve them in activities related to the three R's. I believe that even though they are young, we should teach primary school students about these topics. The three R's touch all the important curricular subjects from an interdisciplinary learning perspective and provide powerful models for integration of science in real life. The topics trigger the student's natural interest and curiosity in research and help them develop communication, collaboration and critical thinking.